Magalon, home to a civilization of millions. 166 years have passed since the comet hit, turning everything to ashes. A new era has begun. The war between the free people and the Albs is over. The hybrid lost control of its armies and ceased to function. The Albs became understanding and peaceful. The Elix was released and once again spread across the entire hemisphere below the Alb's ice palace. But humans are quick to forget. Many of the larger settlements claimed the victory as their own and paid little interest to the affairs of others. Only a few remember those dark times or one Commander Jax. My name and my deeds faded away in the mists of myth and legend. Many years after the war with the Albs, humankind is plagued by petty conflicts and territorial disputes. Even though there's still the persistent uneasiness about the strange celestial phenomenon that was called forth by the hybrid, for its defeat. I know that an unknown foe will come soon. The lives of all the aware will be shaken to their very core. All my efforts to prepare humanity for this impending danger were for naught. Humans forget. A vague, unknown threat looming in the sky quickly became nothing but a small, daily nuisance to most. Until now. Damn it. I better get out of here before these things make short work of me.
Let's get the hell out of here. More of those beasts, of course. Hmm. We should probably try to sneak by them. Take it slowly. You haven't recovered from that bite yet. It'll be a while before you get all your strength back. So perhaps you should put off anything too demanding for a few days. Who are you? You can call me Adam. Just think of me as a friend who is in the right place at the right time. That's all you need to know. What happened? You should know. You were there. The invaders arrived, started taking over the world, transforming it. Transforming? Terraforming, right? It's an alien species? Hmm. A most hostile, most dangerous species. So they're not just in Caracas? Their formers have appeared in every region, threatening life everywhere. 
It's not clear what they want yet. All they're doing for now is spreading infection, killing and destroying. Not a promising start. Where's my stuff? If you're talking about the belongings you had in that hut, you can forget about them. All I could save is what you have on you. Something's not right. I feel... I feel weak. Mm, yes, you were bitten by one of those creatures. Looks like it infected you. Some kind of disease. What? A disease? I'm still not sure how it works, but it's clearly all part of the invader's plan. At the rate they're transforming things, it won't be long before the whole of Magalan is overrun with their plants and animals. Oh, great. You were lucky. It could have been a lot worse. If I were you, I'd stay out of their way and not tempt fate. All other instances of direct contact so far have proved fatal. How long have I been out? A few days. You're still badly hurt. I did what I could with your wounds. Days? No. Dex! Careful! Dex! Damn it! My son's out there somewhere. I have to find him. Then I'd say you'd better do that before anything else. Why are you helping me? These invaders are a threat to us all, and yet no one even seems to have noticed they're here. Everyone's so busy fighting each other, they can't see who the real enemy is. That's where you come in. You might be an outsider to them right now, Jax, but you're strong, smart, capable. You know who I am? I know you did your best to disappear, but not everyone's forgotten you. I need your help to save Magalan, to lead a resistance group. I call it the Sixth Power, a faction separate from all the others, focused on stopping this invasion. I'll show it to you. Meet me in the Bastion, north of here. No way. I tried to warn people years ago. No one listened. Now we've got the total annihilation of the planet staring us in the face, and still, all anyone cares about is their own stupid shit. I'm done caring about it. I have my own problems. All right. Then deal with your own problems first. We can talk again later. The World Heart to the North. Is it still there? As far as I know, yes. The Berserkers are watching over it. Why do you ask? My son's with them. Then you should go. While things are still quiet around here, it won't stay that way for long. You know where to find me. You know, you'd get around a lot faster with a jetpack. I have one left. Take it. Like I said, go to the Bastion when you're ready. We have a lot of work to do. I'll be waiting there. doing all that great. But I don't trust the old man's judgment. I should look for a healer among the berserkers.
Jax! So glad you're alive. We feared the worst. What happened here? Caught us completely off guard. During the Night Watch, they blindsided us. The strange intruders? No, no. The Morcons. See here? They're fallen bloodhounds. The biggest group of them is already moving back up north. Where's Dex? Where's my son? His mother took him with her. Kaya was here? With him? Yes. And she followed the Morcons north. You know she'll never rest until she's defeated them all. Why'd you stay here? I am a warlord of the Berserkers. I have responsibilities. I can't just leave the world heart defenseless after an attack like this. Men trust in my leadership. Can you heal me? Of course. I can give you a few flasks. But we need the rest for our wounded. Ugh. You look like shit, Jax. Ugh, I'm... I'm all right. Just got bitten by one of those damn creatures. Shit. Better get that looked at. Of course. Thanks. Hmm. Those large purple formers. Ever see them before? Oh, when the outsiders arrived, they spread out down south. We saw a lot of their creatures when we were out hunting. Couldn't always deal with them, though. Had this whole battle of the factions to deal with. Do you have a healer who can look at my bite? The infection? Most are dead. But Kaya survived. She's the best mage of all of us. Show her your injuries. The world heart is still intact? <sighs> Thank the stars. The Morcons were only out to kill Berserkers and take our horde of Alexit. The world heart is unscathed. It continues to deliver mana to the Earth. Nature will soon flourish here in Caracas. It's strange that the Morcons dared to go so far. Yes, very strange indeed. They usually keep their destructive urges inside their grotto. Something must have roused them. Probably those intruders and their bizarre creatures. Uh, maybe. But I believe they have other motives. They're religious fanatics who worship a violent god. Who can guess what motivates such people? Hmm? When you meet Kaya, be patient with her. She's taken the losses over the last few days quite hard. She fought the Morcons to the very end. Tried to prevent the worst. Be careful out there. The days when we could roam freely around Caracas are long gone. Really gotta watch your back around here. 
Caracas is a tough place. Trouble? Obviously. It takes its toll. We can always use more people. But, though we may be few, at least I have materials for weapons so we can fend off external attacks. Do you have a weapon for me too? I don't give weapons away for free, if that's what you're asking. But I've got a little forge and you're welcome to use it if you want. If you don't know how it works, I might be able to teach you something, but I won't do it for free. So you should have a little experience and a couple of shards in your pocket. If you're looking to buy something, I've got a few things lying around, but I need most of what I've got for the boys. I want to buy some stuff. Of course. yet.
Could you teach me something? What do you want to know? I want to see Kaya. Let him through. Hi. Finally, the mysterious stranger honors us with his presence. Sorry, I got held up. Oh, well, how can I complain when faced with such a valid reason? All right, I get it, you're angry, but I've spent a few days out cold in some ruins. Is that so? And how did that happen? Maybe you haven't realized, but we have a new enemy. Yeah, I noticed. As if I didn't have enough problems. As you can see, my hands are pretty much full. We need to talk about this new enemy. We're gonna have a lot to deal with. 
I know. That's one reason I'm out here. Because of that and all the other threats to our lands. I always expected something like this, just not this soon. Could it be the aware that the hybrid spoke of? It's more than that. I think he might have even called them here somehow. One of the last things the hybrid did was to fire a signal into the sky. It caused a strange celestial phenomenon no one's been able to explain. That isn't a comforting thought. People need to prepare for what's coming. But damn it, I just don't have the time right now. I can't leave until I solve this situation with the Morcons. You're going to take our son on one of your expeditions? He's better off staying with us right now. There have been far too many attacks on the fort lately. He's not safe there anymore. Oh yeah, much safer out here. I don't need a lecture from you. Mister, I like to disappear into my hut when things get difficult. Actually, the hut is gone. Buried under one of those flying fortresses. I'm happy to hear it. I never understood why you chose to hide in there instead of living with us. I have my reasons. You know what they were. Don't make me laugh. You felt wounded because the faction leaders wouldn't listen to your warnings of the potential dangers. And instead of accepting that failure and moving on, you curled up into a ball and wasted years of your life. You were a great man once, Jax. Think of all you did. Fighting your own people, storming the Ice Palace, defeating the hybrid. Not everyone remembers it that way. I was there, and that is exactly what happened. No matter what people remember, or choose to remember. Well, those potential dangers, as you call them, are right in front of us now. We both saw this coming. And now it's up to us to fight for everyone's survival. I know, just as it ever was. People are too preoccupied with their own lives to worry about the future of humanity. But that doesn't mean you should ignore your own life. If only you had been a real father to Dex, none of this would have happened. Do you think I should have left him on the battlefield at the World Heart then? No, of course not. Anyway, Asker will take good care of him. He would never leave him behind. Unlike you. Where's Dex now? He's nearby. Asker is teaching him a lesson in patience. You would think he would have learned that from us. Oh, very funny. What? Don't you think I know I could have done better too? That this wasteland is no place for him? If you have any better suggestions, let me know. But don't look at me like that. Don't you dare judge me. Dex needs to be somewhere safe. Really? Then why don't you do something about it? It's about time you took care of your own son. I just hope you know what you're doing. I've been speaking to this old man, Adam. He's been treating my wounds. He said the Bastion in the North should expand, become a major power. Sounds like that would be a safe place. What are you talking about? Adam? An old man? For goodness sakes, Jax, what have they done to you? Are your senses so impaired that you can't see what's in front of you? What's that supposed to mean? There is only one old man in the Bastion who fits your description. And that is Dawkins. Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins.
I was talking to Dawkins? I don't believe it. How badly did they hurt you, Jax, for you not to recognize him? This is the man who set the Albs against the free people, who plunged Magalon into years of war, all for the hybrid. The miserable bastard who, let's not forget, was inside a mechanical pod until recently. Of course, he's but a shadow of what he was. It almost sounds like you would have forgiven all his crimes against humanity. The killing machine from back then has been destroyed. The shattered husk that survived barely has the strength to tell you what he knows. Dawkins is just an old man now. Without his machine, I don't think he's anything to worry about, to be honest. Oh, that explains a few things. I should pay him another visit. Yeah, why don't you do that? After all, he only stole a whole year of your life. No. Something's wrong. I need your help. You look exhausted. What happened? One of those creatures, one of the invaders, it bit me. The old man says I'm infected, but he didn't know what with. Well, I can probably mix you something once I'm back home in Tavar. But we're in the middle of a battle with the Morcons. So I'm afraid you'll just have to hang in there for the moment. I don't recognize you anymore. You're obsessed with the fight against the Morcons. Did you see what they did at the World Heart? It was a massacre. They practically wiped out all our warriors. We have to strike back before they can reach the grotto. Once they disappear inside, we'll be dealing with more than just their bloodhounds. They'll unleash their destroyers, and who knows what else on us. I'll take care of your Morcon problem. And how are you gonna do that? You're sick. I'm going to need your help against these invaders. It's pointless for you to waste your energy on trivial skirmishes. A couple of Morcon bloodhounds won't be able to stop me. Very well. I'll gather my men and prepare for a retreat. But be careful. Those animals will do anything to get their hands on Alexit. Look after Dex, do you hear me? I'll kill you if anything happens to him. Still have a long, painful road ahead. 